Hi, it's Tamir, Keisha Lance Bottoms, and I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. I can't imagine how much sorrow this day must hold for you, but I hope that you're confident in knowing that a mother's love is eternal and it transcends heaven and earth. Just wanted to give you some words of encouragement on this Mother's Day to say thank you for being so strong for all of us, your resiliency, your regalness, your poise, your commitment to your son should be honored by everybody. And again, I would just like to say thank you and happy Mother's Day. Miss Wanda Cooper, this is Bernice A. King, daughter of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I was only five years old when I lost my father to an assassination and it was devastating to say the least. So I can only imagine what you may be feeling or experiencing right now. We are crying with you. We are grieving with you because this loss represents all of us. We want to take a chance to wish you a happy Mother Day. I am very sorry for your loss, but I remain hopeful that these words will resonate with you and your family. I pray that God's presence will give you the supernatural peace that transcends all understanding, not only on this Mother's Day, but for the days to come. As a mother, I wanted to tell you that my heart is with you. Please know that there are many people that are lifting you up and praying for you and will continue to support you through your quest of justice for Ahmad. I want to let you know that your brothers and sisters in humanity are here for you. And like me, there are thousands of other, thousands of other men African-American men, white men, one of all races who are walking, who are running, who are standing with you. Honestly, there are no words that can convey the depth of my sorrow, my sadness, my frustration, my anger, my fear. I wanted to tell you I'm sorry. I'm not just sorry for what happened on February the 23rd. I'm sorry that we haven't done anything significant enough after what has happened time and time again in our modern day history to young black men. This Mother's Day, may we all say enough. We are lamenting with you. We are praying that prayer, how long, how long, how long, oh Lord. And we are listening deeply because it is echoing back to us and asking us how long, how long, my people. For the many days ahead, all of us are thinking of you and lifting you up in our prayers and our thoughts. And more importantly, thinking through actions that can be done and taken to make sure that this doesn't happen to another soul again. So we pledge to share our words today, but to fight for action tomorrow. But we need to step up. That's our responsibility. So you won't be alone. And while my heart is broken, I know your heart is broken even more. So please know that myself and my family, my church, all my friends, we stand with you and that your son's death would not be lost. But we will make sure that justice is found and that justice is given. We will take action to stand with you. This, this can't happen anymore. I also have a son. And just the thought of losing him to racial violence is a genuine fear. I remain hopeful that the name Ahmad Arbery will be remembered for bringing about these changes we so desperately need regarding racial injustice. And also know that your son's life has inspired so many across this nation to do more, to care more, to speak up about the injustices that are impacting African-American men and boys across this country. His life will always serve as an inspiration to all of us to stop and end racism. I promise to you to end systematic racism through everything possible to me, working with beloved communities, the lead organization, and bring other leaders in my community together to forward the conversation that we can take out racism and replace it with love, justice, and fairness for all. And I stand with you, and I stand with him, and I stand with everyone ready and willing to lock arms and grow the movement to right the injustices that have continued for decades and centuries too long in this country. 
there will be a relentless effort on your behalf and behalf of your family to make sure that your son was not taken from God's green earth in vain. But I will act on what I know I can do, and I know I can do more, and in honor of your son, I will. We are praying for you. We pray for justice for you and your family and for Ahmad. And may God's blessings of peace be with you always. And as you face this Mother's Day for the first time, without the son that you birthed on Mother's Day, I want you to know that I am sincerely praying for you that the peace of God that passes all understanding will keep you and that the Holy Spirit will comfort you. Please know that I love you and that I will continue to lift up my voice for justice and work for justice so that Ahmad's life will not be in vain.